A food vendor developed a new sandwich type for sale. What? <laughs> a new sandwich type? All right. The vendor made estimates about the sales of the new sandwich type over time. A linear regression was used to develop a model for the sales over time. The figure here shows a graph of the residuals of the linear regression. Which of the following statements around the linear regression are true? All right. So let's make some fake arbitrary graph. Let's make it linear like so. Now the linear is also known as the expected value. Residuals, residuals are the actual value compared to the expected value. So basically what's happening is that first time that this happens, your actual value is way below the expected value. Then it gets a little bit closer then it's right on, then it's a little bit more, then it's a lot of bit more, then it slows down a little bit, but it's still more, and then again, and then it starts getting closer to the line, and then starts getting closer to the line, and then it hits the line, and then now it's below the line, so kind of maybe flattens out. It looks kind of weird like that. But basically, this is what the graph looks like if I'm comparing residuals to some fake line that I just created. Exact? No. Somewhat accurate? Yeah, I would say so. So what's true? I used a linear regression and I probably shouldn't have. And that's probably where my question is supposed to be that, you know, I use this red line right here to try to look at these dots right there. The linear model is not appropriate because there is a clear pattern in the graph of the residuals. Yes, the linear model is not appropriate because the graph of the residuals has more points above zero than below. No. The linear model is appropriate? No. The linear model is appropriate? No. The answer is A. It's definitely not. These blue dots are the actual values, and these do blue dots uh, probably show something that it starts out bad, then gets really good, and then flattens out. Okay. Uh, neither of which a linear model is appropriate for. Okay. So A is my guide. I'm sticking with that.